This is the Unitarian Church of Lincoln's daily video update for Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. In this series, we're exploring our tradition's seven principles. The first principle of Unitarian Universalism is this, the inherent worth and dignity of every person. This is a literal first principle. It's the starting point for much of our theology. Each person, everyone has worth. Each person has dignity. There are no exceptions to those two statements in the principle or our aspirations. Every name behind me is beloved. From our justice work that proclaims that despite what the world or the actions of the police may claim, black lives do matter, to our understanding of radical welcome as the foundation of our congregations, it's all first principle stuff. And like all good first principles in ethics or philosophy, this forms the frame of our theology. And because of that, it deserves some interrogation and complication. The first is to observe that saying that every person has inherent worth and dignity is an aspiration. Like all of our principles, this points to the world we covenant to affirm and promote, not the one that we live in every day. It's hard to live in a way that in every moment recognizes the inherent worth and dignity of every person we interact with in every moment, because the truth is that we are complicated and there are times and people when the best that I can say is they have worth and dignity, they are a beloved child of God, and I am not God. I am sad and disappointed and angry. That's okay. It's okay that sometimes that's challenging. We'll talk more about the nature of covenant and aspiration tomorrow when we talk about the second principle. The other complication with the first principle as written is that it centers the importance of the individual in our theology and culture. And there, have, there has been a lot of ink and pixels spilled over this tension in Unitarian Universalism in the last five years or so. Here's the basic tension. We are a covenantal tradition. The community discerning together is really important to us. And yet we also have this really strong emphasis on the individual as a first principle. And resolving or at least unpacking that tension is probably the overarching project of my generation of Unitarian Universalist theology. Because proclaiming that all people have inherent worth and dignity is not the same thing as saying that individual beliefs will not be challenged in our congregations. The emphasis on individualism is one of the things that gives rise to the unfortunate idea that you can be a Unitarian Universalist and believe whatever you want. So getting on a, a soapbox for a second, I do think that there's a lot of value in healthy tension. So yes, our first principle affirms the individual and many of the others affirm collective discernment. Figuring out how to balance those things, how to hold two truths at once is the beginning of a rich, rich understanding of who we are and who we might be. Part of the answer then is to develop a better vocabulary and comfort with theology. What we do as churches is not simple. It's not just about the individual and it's not just about interconnection. It's a process that requires our attention, our care, and our love. Okay, down from the soapbox, we'll continue this series tomorrow with the second principle.